In this video, I'll be adding a little bit to our knowledge about separate worker processes. This is a little bit of additional information about application pools that we talked about earlier. We've already talked about application pools, and we made a note that when I added sites, every time I added a site, we also added an application pool. But what I didn't mention is that we can put more than one site in a single application pool. Let's say that I wanted to have an application pool for my internal sites and an application pool for my external sites. I'm going to right click on application pool here and make internal. And then I'll make another application pool called external. Now when I create a new site down here, I'll just say add website. I'll add a website and I'll call this George. And I can select and put George in, say, a, an internal application site. So now George has his own internal site. And uh, physical path, I won't worry about a physical path. Now I'll cancel that one. I'll make another site add a website and I'll call this one Fred and I would add Fred say to my internal site like that and so on and now um, let me see I want an external site I would add my external site and I'll call this one hotdog.com and I might add that to my external uh, application pool. I didn't actually add them because I didn't add these physical paths, but you get the idea that I added more than one site to each of my application pools. Well, I can certainly do that and um, have these workers, uh, in other words, each application pool in this case is what we call a worker process. So that one application pool can, or I should say, uh, each application pool is a separate worker process in this case.